Welcome back. At Fort Hunter Liggett, California, British Special Forces conduct airborne operations. Army Reserve soldiers assist with maneuvers to help add a more realistic environment to the exercise. Staff Sergeant Daniel Sullivan with the 372nd Mobile Public Affairs Detachment has more. The skies over Fort Hunter Liggett are some of the best to fall out of. British Special Forces, whose faces cannot be shown, are dropping from the sky over the 16th annual war exercise here. War explainers are using the constant airborne maneuvers to add realism to the scenarios of reserve soldiers on the ground. And if we're affecting the units in a good way, then that's brilliant, I love that. We've been here before when there's a major war ex going on, um, and it's key, the integration between the units is key. The communication between the ground and air is also key. Albert 01, Jack Hammer DZ, radio check. Albert DZ, this is Albert 01, you are loud and clear. Declan McVickers, a parachute jump instructor, checks airspeed on the ground. So surface winds are at 130 and anywhere between 3 to 5 knots. And chooses a spot for the parachuters to land. Meanwhile, up in the C-130 aircraft, the troops are getting ready for another jump. They'll drop 7 to 8 times a day and sometimes even at night at heights ranging from 3,000 to as high as 25,000 feet. Parachuting, inherently dangerous. Although the job is risky. This is some very serious training. They're more than ready for the challenge. The unit we're working with, very serious, top level guys. We're up there with the best. So even though you can't see their faces. While the blue skies are up there, then uh, we'll keep smiling. They're wearing a grin. From Fort Hunter Liggett, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Daniel Sullivan. After